have right now Alan Stiefel. Are you with are you with us? Okay. Alan? Hi. Hi, Alan. Thank you so much for joining us. Alan, I'm really excited to uh, uh, to be able to talk with you today because I think that you have had a significant uh, amount of experience in the political realm in your lifetime. And, you know, it's really intriguing. It seems like, you know, based on the information I've been able to gather about you, you've uh, been involved in politics in Cook County, which is a Chicagoland area in Illinois, uh, since the age of seven. And you've had You've seen Chicago's Democratic machine from the inside. Can you tell us a little bit about that experience? Oh, well, you know, that's, that's uh, growing up in Chicago, politics is very important to a lot of people. Um, some people look at it as a way to get ahead in life, a way to get a better job, a little bit of security. And I just was around that environment from a young age and just saw how the game was played. So it says um, in, in 2005, you came on to Ron Paul's um, writings. And it seems like that it inspired you enough that in 2007 you became actively involved. Uh, can you sh uh, uh, explain to us and shed some light on what you've done since then uh, in this realm? Uh, heck, I've gone to a bunch of different states uh, campaigning for Ron Paul, uh, helping out with the campaign where I could. I've, I'm a writer by profession, so uh, naturally I've gotten involved doing a lot of writing um, on topics of liberty. And uh, that that pretty much sums it up. Re really politically active and lots of writing. So let's uh, talk about, time. you have four books out, is that correct? That's correct. Uh, can you tell us the name of those and where our viewers can find your books? Amazon. Amazon's the best place to find the latest book. Uh, some of my, my literary writing's a little bit harder to get because it's not distributed widely. Um, and the, the latest book is the best one to look at. It's called how to Win America uh, for Ron Paul and the Cause of Freedom in 2012. And it talks a little bit about uh, a problem we're facing right now. Um, you know, I, I don't know how it looks from your perspective exactly, but from my perspective, uh, we're doing very well. We're doing amazingly well in this campaign. You know, the caucus states, they're hard to count, but we're going to dominate those states. And slowly but surely and quietly, we're going to do very well there. And the movement's growing. Uh, mm -hmm. On the floor of the RNC in August, I'm convinced Ron Paul's going to be the nominee. Uh, it's up in the air pretty much between Paul and Romney right now. And, you know, Barack Obama, he was considered unelectable up until, mm -hmm. heck, May of 2008. There were articles being written about that that I know of. Um, and the Democratic insiders were saying Barack Obama, he's a fine primary contender. He's good for a party. He could be a vice president, Hillary Clinton, but he could never win the White House. You know, it's a, a real familiar story to us, yeah. people now, saying your candidate's unelectable. In 2008, you were actually in nine different states campaigning for Ron Paul. Uh, that was the earlier stages when a lot of people just started coming to learn of Ron Paul and his, his uh, platform. What have you seen, how much have you seen this progress into this campaign now? I'm sure you saw it out there, you saw the support, but you know, can you describe what you see in support now, you know, four years later? People are... Ron Paul supporters are understanding the system, uh, understanding how to get more involved. Uh, this caucus strategy, for example, is a good example. Uh, it, it takes committed, knowledgeable supporters who are able to kind of uh, put in the extra effort to become delegates for Ron Paul. Um, lots of growth, personal growth. Someone said to me a few weeks ago, we were freshmen in high school then, now we're juniors in high school or something like that. But a lot of people becoming more politically involved, becoming more politically savvy. Yeah. In this book, I think, uh, your political strategy for Ron Paul, um, can you shed some light to some of our viewers, our grassroots volunteers, what they can do to really get out the vote, get the message out? You know, do you have advice for them uh, that you can share as you know, we proceed into some of these other primary states? Um, you know, we're online. We are very well developed. We have networks. Uh, some networks that go back many years uh, where people have been working together. We have a ton of technological ability, and I don't think we're leveraging those strengths properly to achieve the uh, magnitude of offline results that are possible for our movement. And the campaign's secret weapon is the grassroots, which is not being utilized properly. Um, so in the book, you know, I've taken some time to lay out how the grassroots can make themselves more utilized. It's, it's decentralized. It's 
making yourself into sort of a, a freedom cell, if I can say that, and the resources out there to be used. Um, now, the place, there's three things, three things that are important to me specifically that I think help out. One is getting your pro-peace friends to vote for Ron Paul, no matter what party they're from. Um, and to me, that means forget about the neocons. Uh, don't argue too much with anyone. But identify the people who are ready to vote for Ron Paul on the issues and just ask them to come out and vote. So, mm-hmm. one, get your pro-peace friends out there to vote for Ron Paul. Second, work the rest of your social precinct. Um, and social precinct, these are the people you know. Um, you may never have spoken politics with them before, but you have influence with them because you know them. You have a rapport with them. Um, and better than speaking to strangers about Ron Paul is speaking to the people you know. And you can affect their voting behavior. You can predict if they're going to come out to vote or not when they say they're going to vote. And then the third thing is activate fellow Ron Paul supporters. Um, you know, when there's a money bomb, send out an email saying, hey, don't forget to I donate the money bomb. Don't forget to do the same. Uh, when you're going into the local campaign headquarters to make phone calls, call call your friends who are on Paul's floor. Say, I'm going in Friday. Why don't you come in with me? Um, and you keep calling. Even if they say no 300 times, keep calling, keep calling, keep calling. Hey, because when you get that Ron Paul supporter activated, your intensive fear um, making yourself more influential, essentially. Um, you're going to – he's going to be doing the same thing, getting his social network involved. Um, and then – the most important thing, and when you're doing those things, the most important thing is going to be follow through. Uh, and I think that's that's where we're feeling right now. You know, Ron Paul's a popular, almost rock star figure that people travel 3,000 miles to hear speak, but then the same people won't get up at 8 a.m. to caucus for him. And mm-hmm. I've seen that already this year. Mm-hmm. And man, does that hurt to to see that happen? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, anyone, you've just got to follow through. Anyone who says to you. Yeah, man, I love Paul, Ron Paul. You got to get their phone number. You got to call them before the election, and then you have to ask them what time are you voting. And then yeah. on election day, you keep calling them till they vote. If they say I'm going out 8 a.m. to vote, 8:01 you're calling them. Nine o'clock you're calling them. Hey, did you vote yet? And you do that because it feels good to win. You don't do that, and it feels lousy to hear. Oh man, I forgot all about it. You're Sorry, right. didn't vote. And, and that's- but I still support Ron Paul, dude. Yeah, that's. I mean, all of that's great advice. I, I'm sure our viewers can take that. Now, we're going to have to wrap it up, but I, I want you to plug this book. I want you to tell our viewers where they can find your book and um, uh, so that they can okay. read it and they can find the strategy to help Ron Paul get in office. Okay. What I've given you right now, that's the kernel of the book. You can get it on Amazon for look, by looking for my name. It's Alan Stevo with a V. Uh, and it's called How to Win America for Ron Paul and the Cause of Freedom in 2012. It's got lots of helpful information I've learned from my years of working campaigns, you know, in and around Chicago. And it's tweaked. It's tweaked for the strength delivery movement. We're online. We've got fantastic networks. Um, you've got the curl right there, and the book goes a lot more in-depth on that's that. That's great. Alan, awesome stuff, awesome work. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, and we hope to talk to you soon. Thanks for your time. Take care.